you know, there are people on the internet who don't like the traditional English stroke British stroke Welsh breakfast. Especially someone in um, Nottingham with a cold. Big cold. Doesn't like sausages. And the Barry Heights. They're again Scotch eggs. Even when they're German and on sale. Anyway, Friday the 24th. October, the silly bus, 2014, checking the time for 6.55, emergency green on hashtag EB, Newport, there's going to be a festival, coffee number one, Welsh kids, that sort of thing, drizzling, mild, calm, and Friday, I said that first, anyway, so this is and there's the colour balance correctly. Coffee number one. Large cappuccino. Two Dave Welsh cakes. Quality. This is what I'm starting anyway. Tom Toya Lewis. Look. Beer Festival balloons. Technical term is yay. I started videoing carpets and floorings for Mr. Manning. And surprisingly enough, he's been on the dog. Seen an attractive young lady on match.com. Sound the wedding bells before long. Anyway. Okay, it's a pint. Okay, this is Woodford's Phoenix IPA, 5.5% alcohol by volume. And it's a big bruiser of an IPA with lots of citrus hops and it's wonderful. It's a B++. Start the day because you mean to go on. <sighs> Talking of that, there's nothing else here that I haven't drunk before so it'll be done with John Wallace. But, good start. Can't beat it. The John Wallace Linton. Lit up, like a lit up thing that's quite lit up. Okay, we have a good selection here. Mind you, even not, we have the Queen's Hotel on the corner. Everard's Tiger Triple Gold. 5%. Your festival favourite, apparently. <laughs> Real wood. Mm. I'd say spicy. So it's between a B plus and a B plus plus. B plus and a half. Oops. B plus really. But nice. Listening to Twit. Watching the world go by. For the second time today, been on the phone to Mr. Manning. This time he rang me. Update on the medical situation and whatnot. And Jaffa cakes. Anyway, this is the Supreme Bitter from the Nottingham Brewery. 5.2% alcohol by volume. I'd say golden. This is real wood. I hope this is real wood. It feels like real wood. You could be laminate. Uh, what do I know? Anyway, here we go. Oh, it's strong. And it's tasty. It's good. It's B. Plus. There you go. Back to the echo. Surprisingly, the um, Professor Mark Manning hasn't been on the phone again. This is great Gustav, after the gun, um, by Oakham Ales. Checking the 4.8% alcohol by volume. Twitter's good this week. Art film girl. She knows her eggs. Anyway, premium bitter, it's called. Premium bitter usually means mass market, but that's really good. Touch of citrus. Just a touch. B plus. Oh, long, very bitter finish. I like it. You can tell the alcohol's on an effect because I'm not waiting for the colour balance to correct itself, but there you go. Box steam brewing, which seems to be a favourite of this place. This is funnel blower at 4.5% alcohol by volume, not part of the fest. I can tell that because the um, pump clip is photocopied and stapled to the clip. 
or something like that. Anyway, oh, here goes the colour balance. I would say it looks like a portal of the dark. It doesn't smell. Oh, hugely chocolatey. Sounds like chocolate plus. It's B plus, but if you like chocolate, you love this. And Twitter's just ended. Film underscore girl. At film underscore girl. Mashable. Kate Cashmore and Lisa Bentley. Okay, shut up and get off the tubes. It's raining. That's another crap. Always got the best selection to you. But why not? Let's see. We're now in the Queen's Hotel where they have carpet and a new ale. This is <laughs> this is an Australian thing. This is two birds because it's um, produced by two ladies. Golden ale, 4.4% alcohol by volume. It's supposed to taste of honey. They're also having a curry sale here. This could be the place for lunch. I know, because the if you go that way, right there, not that way, uh, Harbour Fish Bar. Mmm! That's different. And a nice, pleasant finish. I'm not sure if I can taste. Yeah, I suppose I can taste honey in there. Yeah, B++. Well done, ladies. <coughs> Actually, lady brewers. I think they have the yum. You know what I mean. You know what I think about the curry sale? Well, it's chicken gel crazy. In the middle, vinegar. Because they've got chips instead of um, pop doms. Anyway, over to the beer. Titanic Copper Broad, 5.0% alcohol by volume. Hops from all over the world. Okay. Good carpet, quick vinegar. Mm. Different, complex, and bitter. I'm going to give it a B. Plus. plus. Yeah. It'll finish as well. In the lamp. Outside it's raining and the beer. Um, I'm struggling here. Bear with me, Cola. I'm looking at the rain. Sogginess. This is Brass Castle. The first gold. 3.5% alcohol by volume, which I need because I'm a bit tiddly. Still raining. <laughs> Good solid brew. E plus. <laughs> yeah. Engineered by hand. Oh, <laughs> box steam brewery. It's not bad, but you know, there you go, inside the pen and wig, where not just me, but everyone's taking pictures of pump clips, it's a shocker, anyway, um, videos from inside, because it's um, soggy outside, can you guess what this is? No, I couldn't tell you that. The pump clip said, he said, desperate looking at open casket. It's actually brains, 4.5% alcohol by volume. And it's, it smells like beer. And extremely pleasant. Beer plus. Who knew? 